Hey, welcome back to another episode from Life for Living Well. I hope you are well. As we bring in another topic to the podcast this week, I hope this particular topic is something that you will be able to be in sync with by the time we finish it. And is to actually look into the different contrast that are valuable to us as people and what makes us believe as part of the species that share this Christmas. And by the time uh, to our series that we we'll be looking into different topics, examining different topics, giving you my own side of view of it and then don't just take everything you hear directly from this podcast as a matter of truth or fact but question it if it doesn't bear any support or insight to where you are right now don't take it let it go and like i always say on this podcast question everything you hear everything you see and then let your own inner guide guide you and i hope this podcast will help someone so let's dive into it once again my name is richard and welcome to life for living well community and if you like to know one or two things about life for living well you can check it out on our website at www.life for living well.com and if you like to drop me a line you can use the contact me on the form on the website of the community website you can use the contact me form or you can just drop me an email for any of your questions and i guarantee you that i will make sure or someone in the community will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible and let's get dive into it without take much of your time this week i'm looking to light versus darkness and if you just consider the time you listen to this podcast it could be in the day or it could be in the night and both of these two presume serve a different purpose night sometimes signify is the time for us to take a break rest majority people use that time to sleep and there's other majority of people that their job will actually require to keep us safe people like a police people like emergency services people that work in the hospital or different people that work in the packaging or warehouse that make the whole systems and economy keep going but if you are one of the lucky ones that work in the day or you are one of the fortunate ones working in the night you have to say it this way but this particular topic is to see lightness that come through our own behavior our own character our own experience or other people experience of us as a person maybe people express you as a light or they experience you as a dark so it depends on the energy that you exhibit you exhibit into the people that come around you so enough of introduction to the topic so like we normally start this podcast is to use one inspirational individual and use their thoughts about the particular topic that we examine. So this week, I'm taking from the Martin Luther King Jr. that he said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. How true is that? It is it's true. And Albert Einstein says that it is insanity to keep between the same thing and you expect something different. So if you wanted to overcome or make the light darkness disappear, just put the light into the room 
and the room that is dark at the dark we vanish you can't destroy it it just disappeared at that moment because of the light is so strong so it sh- absorb the darkness and if you want the darkness to come back just turn off the light and the darkness will cover things and the thing that is invisible to the eyes become more invisible to the eyes so life itself is one kind of irony in many worlds for so many people in it it is where we find solace Take for instance, most films portray the good and the bad. We feel elated when the right punishment are ascribed to the bad character. Those who have worked on themselves from the inside, their light shines like a sun that cannot be hidden. So, it's the Buddha that said, everything that cannot be hide from us. One of those things is truth, which I, is considered as light. Another one that cannot be hide is light. Sun, you cannot hide it. Even if you cover yourself away from it, you will still shine its glory to the other parts. And the third one that you cannot hide is the moon when it's bright is up there for everyone to see so in this particular podcast is to consider your character whether it shine the light that i know you are or you shine the darkness i also know you're capable of socrates stated that we can forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy in life is when men are afraid of light. Isn't that true? And light here that Socrates is pointing to is more to do with knowledge, it's more to do with awareness, it's more to do with explorative of yourself. Many people doesn't want to even to know about it. They don't even want to think about it. They quickly always blame others for everything that happened in their life. Only those who have managed to embrace darkness through light within them can connect with the source of power. How do you know your darkness? What does it look like? Unfortunately, Many people define themselves by their social status. Oh, I am a father. Oh, I am a mother. Oh, I am a brother. Oh, I have so many friends. I am a a politician. I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. I'm an engineer. I am a teacher. This is how they define yourself. I'm a sister. Yes, you might be all those things, but you are not that all those things. When did you become the teacher? Is it when you were born or when you grow up and you take a profession to become one? Many people define themselves by academic attachment of achievement they have for me or the job title. I am a manager, I am a director, I am a chief executive, I created a lot of businesses. All these are what you call surface to read things. The rating is actually more deeper than we can put the label on it. They ask Jesus Christ, who are you? He paused for a second and he looked up to them and he said, I am. The word I am is the word that is limitless. It's not just limited to a particular title you ascribe to yourself. It's comprised of so many things about you that you don't even know it exists, but it's there. And the people that ask him, Pardo, because that was the first time somebody said in their life with their 
education, with their knowledge, with their position in society, they always define themselves by the particular title, whether the social status or academic or political position they hold by that title. I'm a vice chancellor. But this is the boss person. Somebody say, I am. I am the vice chancellor. I am the cleaner. I am the teacher. I am the student. I am the way. I am the path. I am. I am more than the adjective that you put into my role. So the dark side of us can show its ugly face in our private corner or worse in public places where we share space with others. We must not be afraid of our dark side, neither be overly identified with our light side. But to seek to have a relationship with both in a way that serve our highest self. One of the way we sabotage in ourselves most often is when we think others are bad but we are good. Or when we only think that we are so bad that we have no capacity to do the good. And this is where the light versus darkness come. That the one that you feed more will have overriding power upon your life. How does the darkness show up in our life? How does the light distribute itself in our life? We all know when the sun shines, it's so shine that it brightens everybody's days. Here in part of the world, is a particular season, especially summer, most people appear to be more happier. So apparently research shows that the sun trigger happy chemical in our systems that actually make us feel a little bit more naturally happy. How much more the light that you can generate within yourself which is translating to your behavior, your character, your your view of things. You'll be so surprised that most people have not really worked on themselves that their view of life is so limited to the point that when you try to open up their mind, they're so scared and they will do everything to sabotage it. So when you see all those kind of people, firstly find out, is it the person that know the value of diamond or the person that value bronze? And if they only value bronze, you should try to support them in that level Spending the time that they have the opportunity for their mind and their eyes to open, to savor, to diamond, to gold. We have seen or heard of individuals that have gone to the extreme of these two energies in ways that are disruptive. So if someone is so, so strong in their life side that they do everything to deny their dark side, they becoming more pushover. They becoming more people that people can take advantage of them. And it's a kind of narcissistic when you use generosity just for people to like you. You use generosity by abandoning your own personal needs, or you pretend that you love other people than you love yourself. Is a kind of narcissistic way of self-sacrificing where you sacrificing your own immediate needs and you holding these people you put them in a more resentful way that look at me i always treat everybody right why people treat me so they why can't they look after me why can't they read my mind so this is when we are so go too strong on our lighter side and then we deny our darker side and also it can happen that we run when people have gone into their darker side and they're becoming more dangerous more destructive for all beings for example some people cannot say no to any request or wishes of others to the point where the person end up being taken advantage of this is when your light have gone to the extreme. 
This is where you do everything to deny that you can also be disagreeable. You can also stand up for yourself. You can also know what you want and you can also take a courage to say no. It takes courage to say no because if you're always thinking of consequences of your no, it could mean that you can be castigated. It can mean that people might not want to talk to you anymore. But if you find enough resources within yourself, you will create a new tribe. You will have your own tribe. For some time, you will work alone. And if you are comfortable to do that, then you no longer become a people that others exploiting. So they feel resentment, anger, and inability to love themselves. And when you feel all this emotion, you only do one thing, it brings you more down. It doesn't hurt the people that are exploiting you. It doesn't do anything to them. It damages you more because you have no ability to create the kind of life that you want for yourself. So like individuals that have anger toward a gender or sex but end up killing innocent people until the person was caught, even on a large scale, a mass killing and destructions of life and property fall into these realms as well. So I'm bringing this podcast toward the end, but one thing you should bear in mind is simple. Consciousness can be enlightening as an individual or collective society. The power this can create for good or bad is enormous. It is important to be intentional to work daily on our light while seeking to understand our darker side. The easiest giveaway is when you find yourself annoying. How do you know your darker side? It actually can show you if you pay attention to it, if you're more intentional about it, if you are very aware of your feelings, your thoughts in the moment, you could ask yourself, why am I annoyed or angry or being dispelled by this particular individual or their behavior or action or even something you heard or read in the newspaper or on the TV and you are talking or thinking about it when you in the bathroom or in the kitchen or whatever you're doing at that moment and you still feel really upset about a particular behavior like that. So what you opportunity you have at that moment is to ask yourself why this behavior affecting me this way. It doesn't have to think others are bad or you are good. The choice is to question why this behavior bothers you. With this practice alone, you may be able to identify your dark side you do not know exists. So perhaps you also capable to behave the same way this particular behavior affecting you. It's just because it's so dark side of you that it doesn't come out at all in you. So you pretend that it's not there. And boom, one day it probably come out and you'll be surprised. But before something triggered that, it will be so helpful to identify that this darker side also exists in you. How does it affect you? How does it contribute to your goal? What does it do to serve you? So it is weaker for you or perhaps you often use reason to minimize it. Have you ever thought of revenge or vengeful? I know a person that broke up with his uh, short relative relationship she has with a woman. The woman was harboring a lot of vengeance, anger toward one of her friends that this individual also know and the way she was doing it it was becoming more controlling and dominating to the because i asked why did you end the relationship she he said because she's so full of vengeance based on what the other person have done to her at work 
and they go out laughing, drinking, and say everything is normal. So to him, we say he was asking himself, it is how you treat people that you claim that you like and they are close to you and you spend your time with them and you will still carry on with the art they've done for you for two years. What happened if me and you also run into trouble and at that time we have a family? How are you going to respond to whatever you perceive that I might have done to you? So because of uh, immaturity and danger, so he ended it. So and that is their individual dark side. But the way he showed himself in this relationship, that she claimed that she want more, is actually very self-destructive. And relationship that will have uh, gone far for both of them, it has to come to the end. So it is important to know you are both light and dark side. The awareness of your darker side, how it dominates your life, will tell what impact it will have in your life, relationship and the society. So let your light shine through honesty, knowledge, responsibility and accountability. I hope you can work on your light because this world needs more people that have work on their light and they work more on their lighter side to the benefit of all being. So lastly, people that live in light shine within. They do not need sunshine and the impact of others is enormous in many ways. Be the light you want to see and appreciate it in others. I hope this podcast helps someone. Until we meet again next week, please stay safe and have an amazing week. Ciao.